Hey there guys, Mike here again. Thanks for clicking this video. Welcome to my shop. Today something truly special has arrived. I'll be taking the first look at PS Vane's new series. This is a new premium high-end series named Summit. This series represents the latest in PS Vane's technology and engineering. So let's take a closer look at what could redefine high-end 2 performance. So let's dive in. So some initial impressions here, first off being the box, it's not a wooden box, but a heavy duty cardboard box, double walled with a thick foam lining. Um, we'll probably do pretty good at shipping the tubes. Now, let's face it, once you're using these tubes, um, these cardboard boxes go in your closet anyway. Another one being the glass envelope. I think they're very unique looking, quite a bit different than your traditional uh, tubes. So the 300B here is quite a bit different than the traditional 300B. So some people call these like a Coke bottle style of glass envelope and you can tell that the new PS Vane is quite a bit bigger and quite a bit different looking as well. And the internal structures are a little bit different as well. Another thing to note, I've seen a lot of traditional directly heated triodes have a porcelain or ceramic base, where the PS Vane has more of a composite base with a metal cladding. Whether that's good or bad, I don't really know, only time will tell. Now if we look at the 6S and 7, this is your traditional 6S and 7 and they pretty much all of them look like this. Uh, the PS Vane has a unique shape to them as well, so probably add a little bit extra flair to your amplifier and the internal structure is a little bit different as well and we'll see how that kind of plays with the sound quality. Another thing with these Summit Series tubes is every tube has a serial number and that number is correlated on the actual card that comes with the tubes. Only 2-3% to of each production run that exhibits superior sound quality actually qualify for the Summit designation. So I'll put some manufacturer notes and a link in the description below if you want to read up more about the technology of these tubes. So you're all probably wondering how it sounds. To be honest with you, I don't know yet. My plan is to make a 300B amplifier utilizing these tubes. So I picked up some MagnaQuest transformers here. So I got these before Mike got ill and stopped taking orders. So this is a parallel feed output transformer and this is a plate choke. Well, I'm pretty excited to build this amplifier using some premium transformers and some premium tubes. I'm gonna go on a limb here, but I suspect this might be the best amplifier I've ever made. So please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any future builds. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.